Can you believe what I am following home? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London and another daily vlog. How are you all doing? I am completely flat out this morning. I was expecting to start the vlog at around nine o'clock. I had two phone calls and a Skype meeting that I was supposed to get done today. I have since done all of those and not even edited the video yet and it's midday. And as you can tell probably by my hair, I have not done anything to get ready for the day. I've literally just rolled out of bed, which sounds really lazy, but I have had a super productive morning. I've got meetings all day today, including the phone ones that I had this morning. I then, ah, oh, it's, it's blowing my mind at the moment and I need to get this video started so that we can have a lot of fun today, whatever we do. I need to get yesterday's video edited and uploaded to YouTube as well, which I'm gonna be doing here, um, and then headed to SB for the afternoon. Fingers crossed I get to go into London tonight, try and find some more supercars. It's all kicking off in London at the moment, so yesterday was a lot of fun. Fingers crossed today is gonna be just as good if I head into London. It all depends on how today goes with meetings, uh, but let's just get this day started. I've had this day started since about nine o'clock, but let's get this video going. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm on the move now and I'm headed straight for the Watford shopping centre. I need to get a few bits, but this is gonna be a trial for me in the BMW X5 to get up the spiral and park. You may remember that I tried this in the RA twice, one before the Armatrix and then one after. Uh, and it was quite a, quite a good success, so we'll see what this SUV is like in terms of parking and usability in the Watford shopping centre. Also going to quickly have a rant about what went on last night on the M25 and on the A40 and the M40. I was heading home out of London on the A40 which goes like this and then you join the M25 to go round the circular, the M25 is one big ring road around London. I was on the A40 and there was two sets of roadworks which spelled disaster immediately where it was three lanes that went into one, so everyone was trying to get as far up as possible and then cut in, which builds everything back on the actual lane that's open, which is just annoying anyway. Then, when the A40 turns into the M40, there is a turn off, a slip road, that you can get onto the M25, which makes going home very, very easy. However, with no signage whatsoever, that slip road was shut. I had to carry on past my junction on the M40 all the way up to a service station to turn around and come all the way back home. They decided to shut the other slip road so the whole of that section of the M25 and the M40 was shut. So I couldn't even get on to the M25 from the M40 which meant I had to go, I turned off the M40 all the way down to Heathrow Airport, which is completely the opposite direction to where I live, to turn around at Heathrow Airport, to then go on to the M25 and get back home that way. It was so frustrating at midnight to be able to do that. I was listening to Radio 1, they were having some sort of midnight mix or midnight madness. I don't know what it was, I was half asleep anyway. But after a long day, from nine o'clock editing all the way up until six o'clock in the evening working, then going into London and filming until about half 11 at night to then have to come home to that. It was very frustrating to say the least. And then I was up again this morning at around eight o'clock to be going on the phone and having meetings. And it's, um, I'm sure that it's gonna start taking its toll on me at some point. So if I fall asleep during this vlog, then just bang on your bang on your computer screen and it will wake me up. Do not have to worry about finding the biting point. And to be honest, it's relatively easy. I've grown up here and since I was 17, I've been driving up here to go into the shopping center. So it doesn't seem to phase me in the big, big car like this. Although that, that sort of height restriction barrier scared me a little bit. Ooh, forgot about that. Ooh, forgot about that. Ooh, forgot about that. As you've probably guessed by now, you will have known that my favorite thing to wear is a plain white t-shirt. I'm wearing one now, just bought another one. Um, which is why I would say the first launch from Supercars of London clothing is gonna be a basic plain white t-shirt, purely because 
that's what I enjoy wearing most. It goes with everything. It looks smart, but at the same time, with a small Supercars of London logo as well, it's just branded nicely, classy, sophisticated. Oh, Tuesday. I've turned up to SB and I'm greeted by that nose. How good does that look? It's a 570 Superleggera. And I'm pretty sure it's the left-hand drive one. Yeah, what a beast. Love that. It is time to get a move on and... Someone in front of me has decided to reverse. Time to get a move on, headed over to St Pancras Hotel for a meeting. And do you know what? After that McDonald's, I was thinking, do you know what? Am I, am I fed up with McDonald's? I think I've had too many. I think I've overused um, McDonald's and the taste, it, it, I just don't enjoy it anymore. I'm sure I'll still go there, but I just don't enjoy it anymore. Oh wow, look at that. That has been smashed to pieces. We are in a nice area. <laughs> that was a VW Golf completely smashed up with um, police all over the place. I'm just gonna lock the car. <laughs> There's the hotel again and that Maserati is still outside. But that's where I was for the Samsung launch. And I'm going back there for my meeting today. It's such a grand building. As uh, probably I said that as unposh as possible, but now I'm just stuck in a line of taxis. My dilemma for today is when to pull out this junction. I'm only joking. Pulling out an owl. My dilemma for today, ladies and gentlemen, is do I go to Knightsbridge and have a look around to see whether there's any cars around? It's 20 past five. So I've got 40 minutes until the congestion charge ends. The congestion charge zone becomes nothing. However, in 20 minutes I could get home. The other problem is I have to drive the long way to get into Knightsbridge. But having come this way right now, I think I know how to get into Knightsbridge without going through the congestion charge zone. It's down Park Lane. We're nowhere near London. Well, we are actually in London. <laughs> I was about to say we're nowhere in London. We're nowhere near Knightsbridge, yet an F12 and a 12C are currently next to each other. And now we've got, look, Aleem. Hello, Aleem. RR59 pet, cruising. And we're now about 10 minutes from Knightsbridge. I've decided we're going Knightsbridge. It's now six o'clock. It has been start stop for ages. The last 45 minutes, it has been like this. Better be worth it in London. The Veyron, there's someone in the Veyron as well. That's gonna be going for a cruise. I love that car. Here we go. We're encroaching, not in, approaching or encroaching? Does that work? Does, does that make sense? Is that a word? Encroaching. Whatever, we're getting close to Knightsbridge. One goes down one way, and a completely different one goes back. As you can see now, I'm on foot and I've met up with Stefan, who was with my eyes on the street telling me that 918 was on Sloane Street. And we've spotted the police up here with their sirens on. Stefan was telling me they've pulled over an Aventador already tonight, so maybe tonight they're a bit hot on what's going on. But we're gonna go to Harrods and see, but it's just started to rain, so lucky I've got this hat on that's gonna be acting as an umbrella to my feet sneakily parked around the quiet bit of Harrods. Not too much is going on. And there's like no one here. Normally there's like photographers and enthusiasts, but no one is here. real the carbon 
looks like a flat battery. We've jumped in Stefan's BMW mobile and I'm pretty sure I spotted the Mansory Viver, which is the Mansory Bugatti Veyron, and I have not seen that moving or got any footage of it moving at all. Apparently it's loud. It might be in this traffic and we are trying to cut a corner. There's a 430 there and the traffic's moving now. And this Mercedes isn't helping. Oh no. This is gonna ruin our tr this is gonna ruin us. Because we can't even see. But it was in the outside lane, where's that gonna go up towards like South Kent? Well, that, that Mercedes is literally ru ruining everyone's lives. Taking his time. Yeah. Come on. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think we've got much hope of catching this. Yes, we found it. What a spot. I saw this much of it in traffic and I was like, no, that's too curved to be an Aventador in matte white. It's out in the daylight. Let's get some photos. Oh, zoomed in. So normally, this car parks all the way down there. And when it wasn't there, I was like, oh, let's just go for a wander. And here it is, parked up like 200 meters more. This is so cool to see in a day. Look at the carbon weave. Could not have been timed any better. I bet it's going to park where we thought it was going to park. Yeah, it's literally indicated to park where we thought it was going to park. But all I wanted to do was hear that car and see it in the daylight so that I could get some cool photos of it. And literally, we have just done that in the space of how long were we there? Two minutes. Yeah. How many photos did you take before it moved? Two or three? Yeah. <laughs> maybe five. I got like two or three Instagram pictures, enough to upload one to Facebook, not even to Instagram or Twitter, and then the owners come out, and now it is just parked up there. I'm gonna try and zoom in. Can you see that? Mm, there's a Mini in the way. There it is. I'll tell you what, for a quick roundabout Knightsbridge, that couldn't have gone any better. For me, one of the uh, best evenings that I've had in London, purely because I was set out to see the Mansory Viver Veyron, and completely at, by luck, by chance, when we went to get Stefan's car back from a car parking space, we saw I saw it like at least a hundred yards away, and about that much of it, and all I could see was it was white, low but curved, and from that. I thought that it was the Mansory Veyron. I didn't think that it was an Aventador because it was too curved. Got it right. We, we sort of took a punt and went all the way down to South Kent to see whether it was parked up. It wasn't parked up where it normally was. And it was just parked up a little bit further up the road. And then it started up within two minutes and drove back. Oh, that was so good. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today. It's been a bit of a mix mash. I started pretty late and that was, just, I mean, my morning just disappeared and by, b before I knew it, it was one o'clock. So, um, I mean, what's that mean? What's that? Oh, no, it's parking sensors. Go on. In you go, cyclist. I'm trying to just go everywhere you want. Worst bit about London, especially driving a big car like this, is having to check your window so much, but... I suppose when you're doing your driving test, you have to check your wing mirrors like every 14 seconds or something silly like that. But that being said, 
ramble finish, I'm off. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. We're going to have a lot of fun over the next few months. So make sure that you are following and subscribed for the journey. I'll see you tomorrow. Can you believe what I am following home? <laughs> so I had signed off, but now I am following home the car that I thought was running, running out of battery. Something is wrong with this car. We could hear it revving up, but no idea what it is. But poor old Ferrari is on a flatbed getting recovered. Another one.